Yes, sir. We are back at it again. United Sim Football Association. Action back in your face. Let's get to it. You got the boys over there, the ship boys. Huntington Beach Voyagers traveling to Oklahoma City to take on the Cyclones in our first game of the day. Shout out to the homies over there at Huntington Beach. They've been doing their thing all season long. And so far, there's only been one team to take them down. And even then, it took them a miraculous comeback within the last five minutes of the game to make that even possible. So shout out to Huntington Beach. They've been real strong all season. And they got themselves a matchup here. Oklahoma City is trying to continue on with their path to try to get in the playoffs, but they need a victory at least within the next five weeks or so. See if they can jump up and get to the fourth seed. You never know what can happen. Oklahoma City, they stepped their games up recently, been putting up some points. They've been doing their thing. And now they got the new boys on the field. Huntington Beach looking to take them down. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. Show some love to all our homies, all of our affiliates. We got Hollywood Sports and Sports Universe doing their thing. And they're the homies over there trying to take over on the spot. Uh, they got the Discord on the lock doing their thing. A lot of role reacts. And yeah, real, real nice place there. You could talk some sports on both sides. And then on the sim. Uh, the Sim League front, you got the homies over there on goals. Uh, great one hockey Sim League. They're on the ice. We're on the gridiron. Shout out to the homies there trying to make the new leagues and stuff. I'm loving what I'm seeing over there. But without further ado, I'm ready to get this one kick started in just a little bit. I got all the settings right, or at least I believe I got them right. But we got ourselves the verdict here. OKC is the favorites here for 56%. Uh, Kind of curious how this is going to go down. I told you, Oklahoma City, they've been trekking along steadily so far this season. And I can't wait to see what goes down on this one. I'm going to triple check the settings here because I think I clicked off of it. Make sure I had everything all right. Good to go. Got the right field. There you go. It's a snow game. It is no wind. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hit that play game button. You didn't see me click it, but I did click it. Here's the proof to show that I clicked it. And I'm ready to get this one started if you guys are. This game should be a good one. A lot of talent on both sides of the football, but I'm going to lean towards the youth team 10 times out of 10. I think Huntington Beach got this one on lock, but they can't slip. Or Huntington Beach is going to fall, you know. OKC has been playing some really inspiring football recently within the last three weeks or so. They got the first win against St. Louis, but Huntington Beach has too much talent all over the field, and they made some trades as well to get themselves in the best effort possible. Here comes Yosef Joseph for the first return of the day, taking that two around the 33-yard line. And here comes the homies over there in the white and blue. It's going to be Nick Lockett, the quarterback here. Let's see what they got going on. Hand off to Action Jackson already getting yardage, and he's going to get a first down at the end of that play. Move the chains there for Huntington Beach. Nice job there from Action Jackson doing his thing. Hand off again to Jackson. He's not getting all those yards that time around, but he'll take five by the end of that play. Second and five coming up. Kept it on the ground. Would it keep it on the ground is the question. No, they're going to fake it this time around. Looking for a pass here. Left side caught by Giovanni Walker. His first catch as a Huntington Beach Voyager. But OK Simpson, he was the culprit there. Have to go backwards. Second and 15 coming up here for the Voyagers. Market pass in this one. Left side's open. Caught by Vanilla Megatron. Makes the first man miss down the sidelines. Tries to get one more block. But that's going to be first down yardage inside OKC territory already. Moving the chains. That's what the Voyagers does best. They sail down that field with relative ease. And Nick Lockett passing this one again. Right side. Got the dot over there to Yosef Joseph. A gain of six. Yo, Joe, Joe, Joe. Nice play there. Nice route to get open. An even better pass there over the linebacker's head. 
And it's going to be second and four here, faking the handoff again. Right side, caught by Vanilla Megatron for another catch. First down yardage once again. Keeping the ball moving. You love to see it. It's going to be a handoff to Jackson again. Going to get around nine and a half on that play. Second and one coming up here for the Voyagers. Shotgun set, three wide outs, faking the handoff again. Nice pickup from Jackson. Has to throw that one to the left side, but no one's home. It's going to be third and one coming up here for Huntington Beach. Handoff again, left side. And Jackson's beast it. He's not getting away from Fairman. Nice tackle behind the line of scrimmage. He shed that offensive lineman off of him. And he got into the backfield for it to stop. A rare stop behind the first down mark on third down. But kick flip is going to make this three to nothing. Nice kick, 32 yards. And Huntington Beach is on the board first today. OKC does get the stop they need to give them the chance to get some points in regards to taking the lead on the first drive. Let's see how Willie Kaiser and the gang can do on their first attempt. Let's see where they get it to around the three-yard line. It's going to be Agostini taking that one to the 20, and he's going to get hit right there. First and 10 coming up here for the Cyclones. Looking for the upset. Send in the green and black unis right there. Probably one of my favorite variants out of the base teams. The five wide offset to start this one off for Ecton. Going past this one left side. Guarino does make the catch. And that's going to be first down yardage there. Alphonse Ecton one for one. You love to see it. Actually, there's a gain of 11 right there. It's first and 10 at 30. Going to the pistol formation. Heck, that's passing again. They're sending the blitz. Got to pass it quick. And it looks like Guarino does get catch number two. A gain of three on that one. Second and seven. Shotgun set. Two running backs back there with them. They're going to give it to Petrachek. He's going to get maybe a yard, and that's it. Third and medium coming up here. Going to be a four wide set. Faking the handoff again is Ecton. Look for a man left side. Caught by Guarino. He's been his man to beat. And that's three catches, three attempts there for Ecton going towards Guarino. And it's all good to go. 26 yards through the air so far. Alphonse Ecton looking pretty nice, I must say. Pitch left side. Kaiser with the spin move in the backfield. And he's going to get past midfield. OKC is moving the ball steadily. They're not going to give up on this ball game just because they're the underdogs. Well, technically, they're saying that they're the team to beat, barely. But we'll have to see how it goes down. Necton's going to get sacked, though. He's going outside of, uh, outside of Huntington Beach's territory. And there goes David Koala. First sack of the day in regards to being on Huntington Beach. Already making moves. He's going to be Ecton passing this one left side. And the pass was behind the mark of the receiver. It's going to be fourth down coming up here. The sack set that one up, and Huntington Beach is going to get this ball back. Going to be sending this one left side. Looks like it is going to roll into the end zone for the touchback, and it's going to be down at the 20. Huntington Beach is back on offense, ready to put up another set of points. Got the four wide to start this one off. And they'll go ahead and run outside with Jackson. First down yards, a whole lot more past the 40. And it's going to be first down Huntington Beach looking nice on that run game there. OKC needs to make sure they get in front of that man. Cannot have him running away because that speed is too deadly. They're going to give it to him up the middle. He's going to run through and he's going to get to the other 40 on the other side of the field. So that's a game of 20 almost on that play. And the first quarter is already winding down. He's already closing in on 100 yards just like that. You love to see it. One of the best players in the league. Jackson tries to cut the other way, and Pritchard was there to meet him in the backfield, second and 12. And up again to Jackson, running into his man there. He's trying to get the block, but the running, the running play kind of missed up on itself. He's going to be third and six here. Down at the 36-yard line. Third and six at the 36. 
Hand off Jackson again. He's not getting past that defender again. There goes Brashnahan on the tackle. And that's going to be down at the 36 when they go for the field goal here. No, they're going to go ahead and wait to the end of the first quarter. I think they may set up for a punt. I don't know if that's within kickflip's range. Yes, they are. Kickflip's going to look to try to pin. It's going to be sending this one right side. Not quite the power, but it does go inside the 25 with that play down at the 22. And here comes OKC once again. They had some big plays there. Now can they put it together and get it into the end zone? That's the question. Handoff Kaiser up the middle. He's going to fall forward for about 10. He rolled on top of the defender to get the first down. And that's going to be down to the 33-yard line. That's what OKC needs is to get that man, Willie Kaiser, involved in this ball game. He said it'll do wonders. Handoff again to Kaiser. He's going to get around one on the play. Nice job by Tom. It's going to be second and nine. Ekman passing this one again, left side, and incomplete. That's going to be third down and long coming up here. Pitch left side. Kaiser's got a little room, but going nowhere. There goes Sassafras, Sassafras on the tackle. And that's going to be a quick stop there from Huntington Beach, not giving up the first outside of that big run. And that's going to give Huntington Beach the ball back. Eight minutes, 17 seconds left in the second quarter. He's going to keep this game a moving. Trey Smith, the new return man, taking that to around the 34-yard line. Nice job there from the newly acquired uh, player that was on St. Louis. That was the big trade right there. They got uh, Giovanni Walker at the wide receiver position. And they also had the man's, uh, oh, wow, and I'm going to stop talking about what they did. They just got, let's just talk about what Action Jackson just did. He just burst through the left side, and that's the easy touchdown there for Huntington Beach. That's why you cannot let that man by himself in space. You just can't do it, and he'll beat you every single time. Ten carries, 135 yards in the first half already, and I'm sure he's going to have a few more touches here before this half ends, so... Let's see what he could do in the rushing side of things. Kick flip going to be sending this one away to the right side. Nice job here getting to around the four-yard line. And it's going to be Agostini on the return again, taking that to the left past the 20. And that's going to be first and 10 here for OKC. Down 10 to nothing. They got the stop they needed in the first drive to kill them to three. But that second time, it didn't work out in their favor. First and 10 here, and they got to go backwards thanks to the false start. Desmond Manning, the culprit. Second and, sorry, first and 15 coming up here. Aaron Krupe, you see there, one of the big linebackers there for OKC. We'll see if he'll make some plays later, but pass right side, caught by Agostini, getting those yards back. Nice job there from OKC. Second and manageable here. Little wide off set, Ekman passing in the middle of the field again, and a little bit behind the mark of the receiver. It's going to be third and five. I think that was a decent enough pass, though, because if you let him, that would have gave that defender a chance for the interception. Here comes third and five. Ekman passing it again. They're going to try right side, and off the mark of the pass, there's going to be a stop there once again for Huntington Beach. Let's get the ball back to the Voyagers. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here. Huntington Beach is trying to get some more movement, some more points doing their thing. Hand off Jackson up the middle. You can't stop him if you don't get off the blocks. Second and one coming up. Hand off again. Jackson finding a crease and making them pay inside the 40 with that play. And it's going to be first and 10 once again. Huntington Beach is on their ball game. And Action Jackson is just doing 
what he wants to do, when he wants to do it. They're going to feed him again to the left side, misdirection, shedding off two defenders. Another first down play for Action Jackson. And can OKC get this stop? They're, he's just running crazy right now, 167 on the day. And we're still got another five minutes left in this quarter. Passing this one left side, a couple men open, and that's going to be yo, Joe, 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 touchdown, Huntington Beach. And they're back on the board, making it 16 to nothing. And this game got ugly real quick here for OKC. Still got another half and some change left, but it's not looking pretty here. Kick is up, kick is good from Huntington Beach. And it looks like all of those good players that they got is helping their cause. Let's see if they could keep. Uh, I said, keep, keep it going here. And that's going to be a kickoff here from Kickflip, a.k.a. Method Air, taking that one to the three-yard line or so. It's going to be Agostini once again taking this one up the middle. Cuts left, but he's not getting past the 20. That's going to be first and 10 here. Okay, see, back onto the field. Pitch right side, caught by Guarino, another catch. On the day, nine and a half on the reception. And that's going to set up second and inches. And off again, Kaiser. He's not getting the first down that way. It's, there it is. B, 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 T for the T A C K L E behind the line of scrimmage. Now it's third and one. It's going to be handoff here. Bull Kaiser spin move. The devil does it again. Willie Kaiser going to move the chains there with that play. He's another one of those players that you cannot leave one-on-one -on -one in space with the defender in front of him. It will make you look silly. First and 10 here. Hand off Kaiser up the middle. Now he's pulling off some moves up the middle. You love to see it. Mixing it up. Can't just go outside each play. You got to go a little bit inside. Got to test those offensive linemen, those interior offensive linemen. And it's going to be the strongest man wins. Pass right side, caught by Kaiser. He's going to get the first down again, close to midfield. And they got about three minutes left in this quarter to do something. I don't think I flipped the what's the name on, but I'm going to go ahead and do that after this play so we can make sure we got that two minute warning. Just give me one second. I'll go ahead and hit the settings real quick, make sure I got that there. Yes, I didn't. There you go. Nice job there. I caught myself. I'm going to make sure it's all good for you. And that's going to be second and eight coming up here after that play. Got the two-minute warning. I knew I was forgetting something when I was setting something up, but it's all good. But it's no good for that play. Dexter Jackson in the backfield for the sack. And there goes that man. As we hit the two-minute warning, no, actually, I'll take that back. Huntington Beach actually called the timeout looking to get this ball back before the half. Looks like a pitch to the left side and over the head of the receiver. And that's going to be fourth and 12. OKC had a promising drive to start, but it's always those big plays on defense that, that, that can derail you. And that's going to be another punt here from Tien sending this out of bounds. And it looks like it's going to be outside the 20 barely. Yes, right, right there at the 21. So, Huntington Beach has a chance to make this a 24 to nothing ball game with another quick score. Let's see if OKC can get the job done and stop him. Knock it past this one again. Right side is open. Caught by Frederick Kaiser down the sidelines and runs it out of bounds to avoid the hit. Close to midfield off of one play. Nice job there. Gonna be like passing it again, looking for a man, staying as far as long as you can in that pocket, but had to throw that one away. Nice protection there, and it's gonna be second and ten coming up here. It's gonna be like passing this one right side, and it's gonna be incomplete. It's gonna set up third and ten on this play. And of course, the middle, going to get close to midfield. Not quite the first down. OKC does get the stop they need. It's going to be fourth and two coming up here. Kick flips in this one away. OKC has two timeouts with a little bit over 90 seconds on the clock. But they'll have to go the length of the field. Nice stinks pot. 
uh, thanks to that punt inside the 10 they go OKC has the football here that's been passing this one middle of the field caught by Dunleavy got a spin move there to get him outside the 20 but they'll need to hurry it up it's going to be 120 on the clock second quarter moving steadily Pitching this one is acting looking right side and almost picked off. Look like that receiver got a little scared there, but it's going to be second and 10 coming up here. to Beach looking to get off the field. I think they're going to stick with that pass game. Yes, they are. Acton passing this right side. Took the pressure, takes it to the 30. A gain of nine on that one. And it's third and one as Huntington Beach calls their second the last time out. One minute left here. What are they going to do? Repton, right side, caught by Agostini. He's going to keep it moving, and OKC calls timeout number two. Nice job there. Still think they need another 25 to 30 yards or so to get a field goal range if there was to get some points. But Ecton's going to try him. Toss it deep right side and drop. That definitely hurts them. That was an easy pitch and catch, but could not get it done. It's going to be Ecton passing this again, right side, in double coverage, and incomplete. And it's going to set up third and ten. Hand up again with Kaiser up the middle. He's going to get what he can. Huntington Beach will call their last timeout of the quarter. And that's going to be 46 seconds left on this clock for Huntington Beach to do something. We've seen a lot of one hit a quarter plays just like that last one we seen from Joseph to Joseph Joseph. So if they could get another one of those sparks, Huntington Beach will make this pretty much unreachable at the end of the first half. But I don't think OKC has the juice to get it all the way done, but you never know what can happen. Pitch to the left side, no good. That's going to be second and ten. I just looked at my phone. The Chicago Bulls is winning. Good job. Second and 10. McClock is passing this one. Left side and incomplete. And it's going to be two drops there by the Huntington Beach receivers. Third and 10 coming up. And off Jackson trying to break this free, but not quite getting it done there. He'll get the first down for his consolation prize for sure. That's going to set up first and 10 at the 33. Pitching it left side. Caught by Vanilla Megatron. Just takes it out of bounds. They did lose a yard on the play, but they did stop the clock. So I guess they can't be too mad at that. It's going to be 12 seconds in this quarter. Lockett passing this one deep right side, caught by Kaiser. But unfortunate for them, they have no time to stop this clock. And that's going to be the end of the first half. 17 to nothing is the score right now. And Nick Lockett is pretty efficient, if I do say so myself. Not quite the yards total, 117 so far, but plenty of game left for him to make more of an impact. He does have a touchdown on the total to Joseph. Joseph will go over these stat lines. It's going to be 9 for 38 on the day for Kaiser. But on the other side, you see 187. Action Jackson doing Action Jackson things. What can I say? A vanilla Megatron doing his thing. Three catches, 32 yards. Frederick Kaiser, two for 53. Joseph Joseph got the lone touchdown with two on 32 yards. A couple of drops here, but nothing too crazy. Um, Dexter Jackson, five tackles and a sack so far. Sassa fast, Sassa Rassa fast, six tackles, a tackle for loss. Dave Koala in his first game here, two tackles, one sack, doing his thing. Fletcher on the day, two tackles so far. Team stats, let's check into it. Pretty even total plays wise, but almost three times as many yards here for Hankton Beach. That's what they could do. They could beat you deep and they could beat you long. That's crazy. I'm not even going to repeat that. Let's go back to the player stats. Um, let's see here. Go to the receiving end. Let's do that. Giovanni Walker, 
has one catch for zero yards. He had that catch taken back. So usually when that happens, that means that there's no yards caught. Um, let me see here. Action Jackson, he has a target but couldn't get anything. Nickel Wide Op has a target as well. So pretty spread out between all of their big boy receivers here. I don't see any uh, bots or anything like that here. So good job by the coaching staff getting their users involved. You love to see it. Um, Quavers, he's a bot, so not really worried about him. Trey Smith in his first game, two tackles on the day. Fletcher has two on the day with a pass deflection. Uh, Billy Bob Booker Thompson only had that one tackle for loss up to this point. And that's the, that's all we got right here. We're going to go ahead and push into half number two. Let's make sure you stop by. Show some love to the videos, man. We finally did it. USFA 3K is upon us. Good job by not only the guys that we have here doing their thing, but shout out to everyone that's been showing some love. We've been trying to do something big for you. Keeping it going, we got 3,000 views total on our videos. So if you average that out with the three seasons, it's pretty much 1K. It's, well, it's going to be around like 1,500 views per season, which is really nice to see there. I'm looking forward to get some more games out there for you. And it's good having this uh, good laptop here that can do work for you and make sure these games are crystal clear and it's going to be a pitch to right side here. OKC trying to get those yards back, but not going to do it on that play. But, yeah, plenty more games for us to sim. We still got the USFA, the CSFA going. All those games are all going on to the YouTube channel. So shout out to the homies. Pitch left side, caught by Guarino. First down spin move, pass to 30. Nice job there from OKC. But, yeah, we're going to keep it rolling for you. Plenty more games. And I don't have anything too stressful to take me away. Um, just a lot of work. Um, and then, of course, I have my outside stuff that I want to do, too. Nice hit there by Koala. But I'm going to do my best to make sure that everyone is showing up on the field um, and make sure that you're showcased to the fullest potential. Make sure you ask me if you have any questions in regards to what to update and stuff. Um, I know that everyone is supposed to be updating themselves, but you want to make sure that you're the best on the field, you know? That's all I want at the end of the day is everyone have their best. In my personal opinion, you get the speed and work around that because if you can't catch up to anybody or you can't catch up to the ball, you're pretty much not doing too much outside of the quarterback and the kicker positions. You don't really need the speeds early on, but they could be very helpful as you go to the rest of the year. So make sure you shout out, show some love here. Give me some uh, pointers that you want me to update on this side. I've been working on a couple of things on the back end when I had a little free time. I want to start working a ticker onto the fold along with the little background there. Make it nice and easy for people to see their stats and stuff. Put in the, um, the player stats and everything like that. Um, go across the ticker. Talk about previous games. Everything. So I definitely want to get that available for you guys. Make it a lot more realistic. Nice blocking there by that wide receiver on the side, but that's going to be first down Nick Lockett. Um, working on some more transitions in regards to going into the games and stuff. The thumbnails, they change every year. Shout out to our thumbnail guys. Beast take over the second, along with our man Orban and Death. Good job. Uh, overall, I love those thumbnails from both of you guys. Just doing a few shout-outs here as the game goes along. I'll get to the commentary. Don't be mad at me. I got to shout-out the people. Um, Nick Lockett, right side. Nice catch there from Yosef Joseph getting past midfield. But, um, yeah, we, we're slowly but surely picking this up. Um, got a lot of guys coming in. I'm looking to try to get another affiliation here within the next few weeks or so. Um, just got to wait for it to get much more into fruition. Um, but... I, think, I like their user base for one of the leaks I'm seeing. I just wanted to get a little update on that. Um, should have another one into the fold. Just give us a chance so we can get it all done for you, you know? Um, trying to see if there's anything else. Pretty much that's the main things out there. Just want to make sure that you're all good to go. Talked a little bit about the league. 
you know, this is our second season, doing our thing, passing the left side, Nick wide up for the first catch of the day for him. Nice job. Past the 10 yard line inside the red zone, whatever you want to call it. But man, um, trying our best to get you the best product on the field. Shout out once again to the Axis football team helping us out. That's an open man. That's an open drop. Unfortunate there for Nick Lockett in the game, but they got to try it again. Um, update system, really, really simple. Like I said, there's three sections to it helping yourself, helping the helping the YouTube channel and helping the league. Um, that's how I break it down personally. Helping yourself is just an easy check-in, which is just putting your name, your player name, into the uh, Google form, and you got six points to upgrade your player with just off that. Helping the YouTube channel, liking and commenting on videos. You could do three three different occasions each day. I mean, each day. Um, well, once within the first week. Uh, actually, just give you the little basis. We have a full week where updates can go through. Kick is no good, unfortunate from them, but they did get the touchdown. Nice job. But helping out with the touchdown, uh, helping out with the YouTube channel, that's what I meant to say, um, you go ahead and like three of the videos or comment on three of the videos, whichever one works. Um, but usually the like is the easiest one, of course. Um, but all you got to do is take a screenshot of that like. You're going to post that into our link for your specific team, along with how much you're claiming for that specific one. You divide six by three. I mean, yeah, divide six by three, you get two. So each screenshot is worth two points each. And you could do that. You could do those three screenshots three different times. Um, well, you could do those screenshots three times and get another six. So you have six for checking in and six for doing the YouTube video. That should have been picked off. But, yeah, that's the easiest one right there. And then you have help in the league. You know, that could be anything from being one of our GMs or SAs, you, um, GMs, general managers, SA school administrators, the people that are – holding on to the teams and making sure that they're good to go for game day. We have openings for both of those sides. So reach out for us on that regard. If you want to be one of our media guys, you can write articles and they're honestly not that, uh, they're not that extensive. So very, very nice. If you could do those as well, I love reading different articles and seeing different perspectives. If you want to help on the graphics, we have graphic teams available, the media team, they do a little bit of everything. You want to make thumbnails. Hey, come on and show what we could do. You can make draft um, draft graphics as well. Also a good thing. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, there's a lot of ways you could go at it in order to get the remaining six points. But just to keep in mind with the YouTube thing, you need to do at least two jobs. Well, you can do one job if it's good for six. But, yeah, mostly... Most oftentimes in that, you'll have a job that is worth three TP. You'll get three, and that's a nice uh, call there right before the third quarter ends. But say, for instance, you're a GM, and then you're on the media team. You do that job there for that week, and then you do, you already get the three because you're a GM. So easy ways to do it. The most you can get technically each week is 18 points, which is a good amount because there's a lot of attributes that you need to upgrade and such. And we'll make sure you provide everything that you need to do. Um, keep in mind that it is a lot easier for you to get the updates in out the way. That's why I always tell them, look, if you want your player to be the best, just do what you need to do early, and then you'll be straight. Only thing is, the games start later, as opposed to starting in the beginning of the week. Games start on Wednesday, so you can't get the screenshots of a previous week during the week that you're trying to set them for, if that makes sense. So you pretty much got to wait until Wednesday and up in order to get the remaining six in regards to helping the YouTube channel because, of course, there are no games for you to do until they're pretty much sent. So make sure you uh, hit me up if you have any questions with that. I'll explain it a lot better than I did. I didn't exactly write it down, but... I'm thinking about making a few YouTube channels, uh, a few YouTube channels, YouTube videos here to help you guys out. I heard there was a lot of, uh, well, not necessarily a lot, but I feel like it's a pretty simple process. Most because I'm, you know, a little older and it doesn't take off for me to do stuff. 
But, you know, it's a learning curve sometimes. You just got to get used to the flow. Once you're into the flow, it's just going to bring the points to you every single week, and that's going to make your player better when it's game time. So that is how you update here. No payment needed, and that's the best part there. No need to pay anybody for anything. Just show up, do your job, and you're going to be one of the greatest. You can see guys like Action Jackson. Um, shout out to the homie one and only. And uh, Action Jackson, Dexter Jackson, he's one of our best guys. And you see him every game, Huntington Beach plays on both sides of the football. You really can't miss him. So, yeah, let's, let's get you on the field. I hope you like that little splurb I had there for the teams there and how to update and such. But honestly, it's a real simple process than what I just said. Just got to get into the flow, like I said. So we're wrapping up this game here. We're in the last eight minutes of this ball game. OKC does get some points on the board. Good job. They get a stop. and They're going to get the ball back. They're looking to get some more points. But at the current moment, Huntington Beach has this one kind of wrapped up. I mean, it's not completely over. They're down. OKC is down 20. They'll have to score three times in the next seven minutes, 30 seconds. It's going to be tough. And just like I said, Dexter Jackson, he's showing up once again. He's on the field. And he's making the plays. I believe he's over eight tackles on the day, or at least close to it. Tien is going to send this one away. Going to take that one. Trey Smith is going to be the return man, taking that to the 40. And that's going to be first and 10 coming up here. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do those videos. Um, I could post them to the YouTube channel. That's nothing to do. Um, I could go a little bit more in detail. I showed the video of me doing those things so I could help you out. And make sure that you get right and good to go. It's a real, real simple process. Trust and believe me. Second and inches here. It's going to be Action Jackson falling forward. He's going to get the first down yardage they need. And there's six minutes left in this fourth quarter doing their thing. And I'm liking the fold of the actual videos themselves. Um, it's about 30 to 35 minutes in regards to a video on the CSFA and it's around, it's around 30, well, it's around 40 to 45 minutes there for the USFA. It's a little bit longer game for the USFA, mostly because I slowed down the game speed, um, cause I want there to be differential between the two leagues. The USFA is definitely much more slower pace of game, but a lot of big players here up top with a lot more uh, heavier uh, ratings, so it looks a lot cleaner in my personal opinion, and that's going to be a drop there by Action Jackson. Could have been an easy conversion, but they'll settle there, and it's going to be around a 50-some yard kick here. Actually, it looks like 50 right on the dot from the left hash. It's going to be stale fish with the kick. Can he get the job done? And it bounces in from the off right. So, uh, nice job there. Almost had that one knocked out, but it looks like it hit the crossbar. Right at the last second, and that's going to make it 26 to 3. They pretty much just erased that field goal OKC got with the quickness. And OKC is going to get this ball back. Um, see if there's any more talking points in regards to the league up to this point. I think I already said that we're at season number two. We're at the halfway mark of that. Just like I said, we got 3K views doing their thing, um, closing in on 100 videos as well. So. Very nicely done overall, um, helping you guys out. And you guys make it a lot easier for me when you guys update because I'm the one doing the commentary so far. We're going to be opening that up as well um, as soon as we could start testing out the stream. Well, not necessarily the stream, but the stream within the Discord so we could get more people on. That shouldn't be too difficult to do personally, but I just got to make sure my headset settings are right so I can hear what the guys are saying, and I can hear what's going on within the game. So we're going to be working on that pretty soon, and that is another job as well, doing the presentation. Um, only thing is I'm pretty strapped for time, so pretty much any presenter will have to do it when I'm presenting, and that's pretty much it. There's pretty much no other way around it. But if you are interested in presenting games and you have a schedule that will be more conducive to actually run the game and get people onto the fold, I will show you the ropes. I'll show you how to get pretty much everything set up for you. And it's an easy, simple file send to you via email and or 
uh, Discord. I'm not sure how big the files are, but may have to be the uh, email because the files may be pretty big. So um, we'll go ahead and take care of that. We'll go through a little test process, all good to go. And yeah, maybe we could hear your voice here in regards to the USFA or the CSFA. We could also split duties up so I can do the USFA and you do the CSFA or whichever one works. So we'll go ahead and take care of that in a little bit. It's going to be Action Jackson taking that up for the first down. We're closing into the final four minutes of this quarter. And yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do. We still have a lot more room for growth. The presentation is going to get even better as time goes along. Passing it deep left side, and that's a drop. Unfortunate there. He could have just turned up field, probably could have got the touchdown. But he'll take that one to the um, 47 right here, second and 10. 14 for 26 on the day for Nick Lockett. Looking for another carry. Is Jackson a lot of room there and uh, too much room? That's going to give him 30 easily. Touchdown, Huntington Beach. And that is what you do when you update each week. I will let you know now. That is what you do when you update every week. You have a real good contract along with you so you can get some more upgrade points. And that's a whole other ball game. We'll talk about the store another day. But, yes, let me know if you want those videos. I'll pretty much break down every single thing in regards to what we can do to get you all ready to go. I'll go over the forum as well if need be. i pretty much give you a quick synopsis of the breakdown of what you could do on the forum. Um, real simple process. Um, looking for something else to talk about in regards to the USFA as a whole, but that's the gist of it right there. You know, just updating, um, and then you got our stat guys. That's another job that you can do. Nice job there getting the first down, but that's another job that you can do to get TPE as well. We already have one stat guy, and he's doing a great job at it, but we can always use more, use more help. Uh, we can have a USFA stat guy, CSFA stat guy, um, and then we have a whole bunch of other stuff that we want to break out as well. I haven't talked about any type of Pro Bowl type of situations, uh, but a Pro Bowl is definitely doable for us as well. Passing that, Agostini is going to be taking that to around the 45-yard line. And that's going to be first and 10 coming up. Hector passing this one. He's going to hit his throws, but that's going to be pretty accurate there. Got that to the man, but he couldn't haul it in. That's going to be second and 10 coming up. Acton passing this one again, looking left side. It's going to be Kaiser. He's going to get a couple of yards, but you might as well forget about it. It's going to be a holding penalty on Murray Garrison, and it's going to be second and 20 coming up. Um, oh, yeah, one thing I was talking about, I was thinking about, how about the Discord? Um, that's going to get worked around as well. Pass there to Garino. Nice job getting those yards back. But that is going to be getting some work as well. Um, just fine-tuning, making it look better for you, um, piecing together a little bit by a little bit, and it's getting easier, getting a little easier for us so we can help you get much more informed of what you can do. Going to be getting the forum a little bit more tightened up as well. Do need to get these games on there, but that could be a job there, I suppose. Nice job there from Ecton, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. A nice job by Harry to get him off the field. And with no more timeouts here for OKC, I think one more first down is going to close this book. Hand off Jackson up the middle. He's not going to get quite the first down, but that's going to be second and two coming up. Going for the pistol formation. Box is pretty stacked. Let the clock bleed a little bit. And after you get the first down, we'll talk about game number two. So make sure you stand by for that. You see there, 26 carries, 290 yards there for Action Jackson. He's going to get the first down, and that's going to close this ball game for this one. Nice job there. Huntington Beach gets win number seven on the season. But we got to talk about this next game coming up. is going to be St. Louis taking on Charlotte in our next ball game. St. Louis still looking for their first win of the season. 
So looking for their first touchdown of the season. So let's see how they take on Charlotte, who's looking to get on the winning ways as well. Going to be a real good one, I must say. It's going to be a kneel right there by the quarterback. And that should wrap this one up after one more kneel. It looks like it was a little bit too much time uh, before they could do anything. But nice job overall. Once again, Huntington Beach bouncing back, getting the victory. And, yeah, good job overall. Um, looking forward to seeing more of you guys get into the draft as y'all get stronger. And these draft classes are going to be a little crazy when we see them actually get into the fold. So watch out for them. Going to be coming for you, making sure you're all good. And we'll get you in the best position to get drafted as high as possible. But it's going to be third and 13. This game is over. 33 to 3 is the final score of the day. And as you can see right there, I talked about Action Jackson and Dexter Jackson. I mean, that's proof. The proof is in the pudding. You can do big things in this league. You see right there, a sack, two tackle for loss, nine tackles on the day for Dexter Jackson, almost 300 rushing yards on the day for Action Jackson. So three TDs. I mean, hey, you upgrade. You can do some big things. You could be a star. You could be a legend here. We'll make that happen for you. But let's talk about these statistics really fast. Going into the quarterback side of things, 54% on the day for Nick Lockett. One touchdown, shy of 175 yards, but an overall effective day, making sure the OKC couldn't do too much. Um, another side, Alphonse Ecton, 24 for 37. A very, very big day in the passing game, 65%. But it did not help them get the victory. Just a few of those drops there and a few of those plays could not get them the job done. But it's going to be a 16 for 50 on the day for Kaiser. Three yards a carry. Almost a full first down a carry here for Action Jackson. I'm trying to tell you, these games are crazy. Once you upgrade, you can be a legit star. I'm trying to tell you. But most of y'all ain't believe me. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But Vanilla Megatron on the day, five catches, 45 yards. Nice job there. You got Kaiser, two for 53. Yosef Joseph, three for 39. And a TD. All of them sporting at least nine yards a catch. So that's what you do there. Three different players getting over 20 yards on one catch. Nice job there. David Kowal on his first game in Huntington Beach. Eight tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss. So essentially one tackle away from being where Jackson is. Sassafaz at the cornerback position getting 11 tackles. They did pass the ball a lot, so it didn't surprise me. But one tackle for loss there. BBBT, Billy Bob Booker Thompson with six tackles, one for loss. And that's really about it on the user side of things. Going into the team stats. Pretty even all around. No KC led the way in total plays, but almost two times as many yards for Huntington Beach. That was the difference. Three sacks on the day for Oklahoma City. Sorry, for uh, for Huntington Beach. Got my by teams confused right there. But nice job overall as a team for them. And one more thing. I just got to go to the player stats. Make sure I got all the users. Uh, all the users here doing their thing. Nick Wyatt, I've got one for 22. Um, Giovanni Walker in his first game had three targets, only had one catch for zero. I think that was the one that got taken back. So nothing good. No, nah, so not nothing good, but uh, no, nothing going there for him on that day. But still got plenty of games left for him to do something. Warren B got one catch for ten. That's a um, that's a bad. Actually, that's a bot right there. And also have Action Jackson. He had a couple targets, but dropped one of them. Going to the deceive, uh, the, the deceive, the defensive end, looking for a few players here. Trey Smith had four tackles. Fletcher had three, along with two defensive um, uh, passes defense. Nice job. Um, let's see. And that's really about it outside of those guys. And outside of that, I'm ready to go to game number two. I've been rambling a little bit. It's going to be the boys over there in St. Louis taking on Charlotte once again for game number two. I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I just hit the 49-minute mark just rambling, but let's go ahead and get to game number two. I'll see you there. <laughs> 